Well, they said it might be Saturday or Sunday now. We gotta get another x-ray. And then we're gonna see what her swaddle test says. So we might have to stay an extra day if she doesn't do good on a swallow test. But we getting it together. We're gonna be out here by Sunday, the latest they said. We just gotta get this little glue off that baby face. She don't want it to come off. From when she had her little nose cannula taped down. Got all this little glue on her face. You gotta remove it with some adhesive remover, they say. You all see. You and your little chair. <laughs> Getting your OT done. Video call going for your granny to see you in your little tomato sheet. This is just a practice until we get out of here. <laughs> Your aunt and your uncle ain't answering, but I'm going to just leave them a video message so they can see you in your little tomato chair that they got you sitting there for your OT therapy. Because you're not going to be in here that long because when you start fussing, mom's going to take you out, right? And you're sitting up like a big girl. I'm manifesting my way home. Ain't that right, Dudu? Yeah. Yeah. Oh. What you doing over there in that little tomato chair, huh? Huh? What you doing, doody do? You getting ready to go home? So we manifesting our ride home. And this time I'm gonna be in my car seat, mommy. You are you in a big baby car seat though. Your regular car seat don't face forward and it don't sit up this straight. You be kind of more lean back, a little bit more reclined. You look like you over there just chilling though. <laughs> you get to see out the hospital door. Look. She got a little view outside the room. You ain't never been down here before. Yeah. We gonna get out of here soon. We got like one or two more days, they say. And then this night making me over. So happy. We want to get out of here, don't we, Dudu? Yes, we do. We try to get out of here and go home. Go sit up all the time. Like you normally do. In your little stroller car seat combo. <laughs> Mommy got you a new little mat to crawl on. And you can practice crawling on your ABC mat. <gasps> Ooh. It feels so soft and foamy. You can learn your ABCs at the same time. Yeah. Oh, I hope you're not hungry because that lady want me to wait until 2.30 to feed you. So you can take that um, swallow test, which is also another thing they want us to do before we leave. So I know we could be delayed on our exit if you don't do well on that test. So let's pray everything goes well there too. Mm -hmm. cutie pie. Little cutie. It's the cutie pie. Hi, Shmila pie. Hi. Hi, <laughs> <laughs> mama, little baby. You come so far, girl. He was in this crib all this time. He got out of this crib. This is your first time out the crib. Yes, this is an adventure for us. I'm trying to get you a stroll through the hospital in a wagon. We, we see what mommy can work out, okay? Try to pull some more weight up in here. Hey, Stinka Dinka, I'm going to feed you. You're going to eat some. Yes, you are. Yes, you are. Yes, you are. Riding in the crib like we riding in the car. Hey, Stinka Dinka, I'm going to feed you. You're going to eat some. Yes, you are. Yes, you are. Yes, you are. Riding to the lab, but we won't go far. Hey, Stinka Dinka, Mommy gonna feed you. You're gonna eat soon. Yes, you are. Yes, you are. Yes, you are. Riding in the crib like we riding in the car. Yay! You ready? You're such a patient little baby. 
We've been waiting to do this swallow test. I'm so sorry. I know. My mommy keeps saying it's okay. Hey, ding da ding da. I'm going to feed you. You're going to eat soon. Yes, you are. Yes, you are. Yes. My baby is literally a little soldier. She in here sleeping like a champ after she done had the swallow test. Then she came back up, got her EKG, and she was asleep through the whole thing. They just keep saying how good of a patient my little baby is. She's so patient. <laughs> I guess they need all their patients to be patient. But yeah, she about to get her pacer wires pulled out of her tummy. So hopefully um, she's not in too much pain because the doctor wanted her to take a little teeny bit of morphine with the nurse is suggesting that we override the doctor's orders and um, only give her Tylenol. So she better not be mistaken because I'm gonna be very fucking angry if my baby is in pain unnecessarily. But little miss know-it-all wants to do it her way. She kind of stopped me from going downstairs with my baby too. And they was like, nope, she can go. So, <laughs> uh-oh. Somebody waking up. And we are all packed up under there and ready to roll to our HKU unit. The stroller ready and all that stuff. Cadence is ready. You ready, Katy Perry? You ready? You ready, Finka? You got your wires pulled out. You just been chilling. You're such a good little girl. You know that? You're such a good little baby. We're in our new little room. It does have a shower in it. And I just finished sanitizing the entire everything that I touch. I mean, every area that I could think of. And she's woke just in time for me to not take a shower. Shower is giving me Motel 6 vibes, but I cleaned this as well as I could, and I'm going to put down a safety mat because I still ain't standing on that next to this floor. At least I do have my own bathroom with the shower in it. I don't have to shower in a hole no more. I'm like, God dang. The nurse left when I told her it was giving me Motel 6 vibes, but it really is. Look, she came in here and I was wiping shit down. She gave me this all by myself. Okay, boo. Come on, we're gonna eat there.